It's reaction time. This time it's Andy Elliott and he trains salesmen on the impossible lead. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Today I'm reacting to Andy Elliott attempting to close the impossible lead. A customer who is the opposite of what they call in the car business a laydown. Interesting trivia for those of you who didn't know. Andy Elliott has made $700,000 in a single year selling cars. Now, there's two things you should be taking away from that for sure. Well, first of all, you should be getting that Andy's very slick and he's teaching this slickness to other people. That's point number one. Secondly, how many times have each of you been told that a dealer is losing money on car deals? Well, they say it all the time. And, well, you can't pay somebody $700,000 a year on deals that you're losing money on. And I would bet that his dealer told every single customer just that, or at least most of them. Another point to you car dealers and salesmen out there, many of you like to come here on the channel and say everything we've done here on the Homework Guy team, well, it's back from the 70s and 80s, and this is all old stuff. Yet this video right here today by Andy Elliott was just released, published on YouTube five days ago before this reaction video. Old news, huh? Seems like these old tricks just never die. Something I want each of you, my viewers, to keep track of. Let's see if Andy ever says anything about, well, fairness and honesty, not lying to people, and about transparency. Because, you know, when you're transparent, then people can see that you're actually being honest with them. Any words even remotely close to what an honest person would normally say and teach? Let's check it out. Roll the video. Today's video is going to be about how to close an impossible lead. I want you to think about it for a second. The fact that you get a lead, I don't care what kind of lead it is, a Facebook lead, comes in through an internet lead, somebody calls on the phone, somebody drives up on the lot. Look, do you think you would be getting the lead if the customer was 100% satisfied with what they already had? That's a really common question Andy Elliott likes to ask his salespeople. Would these people be 100% satisfied? Well, I'll tell you what. Everybody is car shopping at one point or another, sometimes even for a vehicle that you might need six months, a year, two years down the road. Do you want to run into somebody who's trying to cram something down your throat today? No, but Andy thinks that's the appropriate tactic. Dad. No, somebody might be 99% satisfied, but they're not 100% satisfied. I want to help you kill it. That's what he just had on the screen. Think about it. Do you think that your customers are just sitting on the couch and saying, man, let's go screw with some salespeople today. Let's actually, we get comments here on the channel all the time from homework guy viewers who say, you know what? I'm going to take this information and go out and screw with some salespeople today. So actually we do have viewers who enjoy doing that. Send in fake leads. I don't think so. I think what we think is that we're looking for the low hanging fruit and looking for something easy to close. Well, easy equals broke. You know, that is true. A lot of salespeople are use, looking for easy leads. However, if you're a viewer on this channel, you're not an easy lead or you shouldn't be. You should be one of those impossible leads that he's talking about. So let's see how he's going to crack the nut called the homework guy viewer. Hard equals paid. So what I want you to do is love to do the hard stuff. And all the salespeople, I say this all the time, we're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. All the salespeople are looking for the guy that says, hey man, I'm ready to buy. He says this is the era of the worst salespeople of all time. Hit the nail right on the head. But when someone reaches out and in, in any way, shape, or form, you must be ready and prepared to scratch that itch. Well, how do you do it? Well, it's really simple. Let's say that we get a lead and we're going to call this the impossible lead, right? And it comes in through an email. What I would recommend is this. And let's say there's not a phone number. And you're like, well, man, this is a weak email. It says, what's your best price? Now he says right here, what's your best price? An email that doesn't have a phone number, nothing else. So there's no way for the salespeople to get in contact directly with the person who's sending that. Actually, in several of our videos that we've talked about how to go around using leverage, make sure you see our video on leverage, by the way. That video suggests that you should get quotes from 10 different dealers, and this is the kind of email you should be sending in. So let's see if Andy actually answers the question that's going to come in on this email. Think about that. How many times do you get an email that says, what's your best price? 
There's no phone number. You don't have a way to text them. You don't have a way to call them. But what do you got to do? You gotta That's what you do. You keep the pesky salesperson off your back and you just ask them for information. Let's see if we actually get any information out of this guy. Got to figure out a way to get the customer engaged. I would call that almost the impossible lead, but nothing's impossible except for those who are weak. I would recommend sending a video. See what happens is when people sit. See now here, of course, we know that video works, does a great, great job, but I doubt there's going to be anything of substance on this video that he's recommending the salesperson to send out to you, the customer. I would actually like you to comment in the uh, comment section down below and let me know how many of you have gotten videos from salespeople and if they've ever answered your question. And in leads, and we'll call it the hardest, the toughest, most impossible lead out there. Those people being responded to by text, by an email, just by some form of ad copy, doesn't move them or motivate them. You know what does? Video, leveraging video. Closing the most impossible leads are all done through video. Now, how do you do video? Well, I have video sending platforms that I use here in my company. So if somebody says, hey, Andy, give me some information. Well, if I don't have texting because I don't have their cell and I don't have a way to call them, which I would love to call them so they can hear my voice, what I'll use is I'll use video. So your company needs to make sure that you have something to use for video, number one. But number two, when you send that video, what do you want to do? How about answer the question? Answer the question. Andy, answer the question. Is that what you want to do with a video? Answer the question. What do you want to Let's do? See. You want to look alive. Alive. You want to look right now like I am when I'm talking to you. Like I'm passionate about what I do. As I talk to you right now, I want you to make more money. I want you to sell more cars and I want you to close the leads that you haven't been closing. How do you do it? You do it by sending video. Guys, people can tell about the passion you have, about the way you feel, about what they're inquiring about. Now, how many of you are taking bets that somewhere along the line, Andy's going to use words like fairness, honesty, transparency, and that he's actually going to answer the question? What do you think the odds are? Anybody want to throw some money in the comment section down below and bet? So it would kind of go like something like this. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Andy. You inquired on what is our best price? So number one, I wanted you to meet me so you would know actually who you're dealing with. My name's Andy Elliott. I'm married. I'm 41 lip lock. years old and I have three kids. I love my family and I got in the automotive space because I love serving customers at the highest level with their at the highest level. But so far he hasn't answered a question about price. Is that really the Vehicle highest level? Needs. I know be before maybe buying a car in the past is as simple as what's your best price? And you'll buy it regardless of the service you get based on the price you get. Our company's a little bit different. We don't put our second best price online. We put our first best price. A lot of dealers are actually saying this. And because of people like Andy Elliott and Steve Richards and others who are teaching them about we put our best price forward the first time, that is never true. Never, ever, ever been true. And not going to be true anytime soon. But in the end, price doesn't sell cars. Service does. So what I would like to tell you is, if I need to do something differently on my price, I would love for you to contact me and tell me what that is. I wanted you to see my face. I wanted you to see the passion that I have for serving you at the highest level and giving you world-class customer service. World-class customer service. Does anybody think that world-class customer service has been happening so far with this training video? Just curious. Ma'am, sir, would you mind please giving me a call? My number is 999-999-9999. Maybe it ought to be 911-911-9119. With that being said, I'm here for you. I'd love to answer any questions. He just said, I would love to answer any questions. The person emailed asking about price and he never answered the question. So... I don't know if any of you follow campaigns and political stuff, but this is completely an answer like a politician would give. And there's a really good reason why in the Gallup polls that salespeople are pretty much at the bottom of that list of the least trusted professions. And interestingly enough, politicians and lawyers are right down there with them. I would love to continue to talk about this price. If you wouldn't mind, please reach out to me. I'm here to serve you at the highest level. Bam! There we go. Bam. There we go. There we go, guys. What do you know more about the price? 
I'll tell you what, there's a lot of other videos that Annie Elliott has put out and it's always this diversion. It's always um, evading the question. It's always throwing another question at you instead of answering the question. Yeah, he should really run for public office somewhere. A political career is in his making. All right, if you guys appreciated our reaction video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below, include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. But if you really want to help us, help us get the word out, share our content and encourage others to subscribe. Help get the homework guy channel. To a million subscribers and by doing so you're helping to bring fairness and honesty and transparency to the car business something andy elliott never mentioned one single time in his training video and i would love for somebody to send me a training video that's dated before today that has andy elliott on it and anywhere in there does he talk about fairness honesty transparency well thanks everyone for coming back we'll see you on our next video you guys rock I'm Kevin Hunter, reacting to Andy Elliott. Let me know if you'd like to see more reactions coming up. Elizabeth joins me next week in studio again. We'll see you then.